in the next few hours because there's some more rain on the horizon. Meteorologist Lee Southwick live in the Weather Center to tell us all about it. Lee? Absolutely. So the rain and the thunderstorms that we experienced this morning that has now all moved out to the east, leaving a lot of you at the sky like this cloud cover out there, but getting peaks of blue. However, some of you might see a little bit more rain later on today. Right now we are tracking rain out to the west. You can see this on your radar and notice how it's moving east towards portions of the North Shore. So out to the east, we have all of the, these thunderstorms here. Look at all of that lightning. That is what moved through here earlier this morning. Now most of us dry, but we're watching this line here that's moving towards us as well. A lot of this falling apart, so I'm not sure about rain for the South Shore later on this afternoon. Maybe just a few light showers with this, maybe some redevelopment. But what I am watching for the North Shore right now is this section of rain right here just moved through Baton Rouge and also now heading into places of Tangipahoe Parish. So places like Independence, Kentwood, getting a little bit of that light shower activity. We'll watch a little bit more move on in over the next hour, places like Roseland, and then we'll see if it holds on and holds together to move across the rest of the North Shore. So overall, not completely done with rain chances today, but the severe weather risk that is over. Rainfall totals radar estimated from this morning came in at over two inches for Bogalusa and over an inch in Port Fouchon. Still seeing some slick roads out there, so please be careful if you're about to hit the road and grab some lunch. Temperatures are sitting in the 70s. We're warming up now, now that a lot of you are seeing some breaks in the clouds. 75 degrees in Slidell, 76 in Galliano. A little bit of a breeze out there too. Hey, it's windy in Holma with a 21 mile per hour wind speed clocked there. Overall today, we're going to see these high temperatures stay on either side of 80 degrees. A good bit of cloud cover holding on and those rain chances, they're lower now for the rest of the afternoon and evening hours, but still models trying to hint at the possibility of some sort of redevelopment of shower or potentially storm activity later in the afternoon and into the evening. Most of us though will be good to go. I can't rule out a few showers overnight either. It will be a muggy day, a muggy evening. Notice how temperatures might warm up into either side of 80 degrees later on this afternoon and then drop back down into the 70s. Tonight mild with that isolated shower. Lows will be in the 60s for everyone under partly cloudy skies. You can see here anywhere from 63 for places like Bogalusa and Hammond to 66 for Galliano and Bell Chase. Then tomorrow it's a good day. It's warm though. Highs will be in the 80s, but if you're heading out to Jazz Fest for your Friday, again, highs getting into the 80s, but overall not too bad. Saturday, a different story though. We will be tracking rain out there. There's a 60% chance of rain. Please stay weather aware if you're heading to Jazz Fest on Saturday. Sunday, however, will be a very nice day with highs only near 77. All right, Lee, thank you so much. All right, 1251 and passenger complaints against U.S. Airlines more than doubled last year and are almost five times pre-pandemic numbers from 2019. It's a turbulent time for the